Can we talk about that, that for Phil and, and where sure. he's going from this, like some broad stroke movements, that the kind of, of character movements that you'd like to see in this guy? So well, that, well, Phil was saying, and we had all talked about this, it's very bird-like. The fact that this thing, you know, can get very alert, and if you look at a bird, and I, I, have, a, I have a house, and at the beach we have like 60, 70 birds, chickens, geese, everything. And I'm always watching these chickens, and they, they get, you hold some bread in your hand, they go, you know, I'm saying, get really interested. I like the idea that these things can just like snap in, in no frames to a position, you know, and then they can they can suddenly. I like the idea also of coming down, coming down to a to a low ducking position. They can actually bend here because they have a great knee joint here. And of course, the head should do all sort of telescoping. The head should be completely mobile. You know, the head should be able to look at if, if the kid is back here. Without leaping around, it'd be great if the head. Can I turn this? Sure. Yeah. It'd be great if the head, you know, could just turn around. I think that's always. I love the wrinkles when it turns. Just, you know, the head can just like turn back, so it's a real scary shot. Right. That's very. When you're, look, when you're there, you're looking over the shoulder, it looks back at you, and then the rest of the body follows, and the head straight down the body. Yeah, that's very cool. You want that's some great, you know, that's the most dynamic look for this puppet. Right. Yeah. You want yeah. some real snap turns. You want to be able to go from here. Sure. You know, stand full size with a snap turn to. Mm -hmm. You know, to the head, and the head straightens out exactly. and it goes so down. You know, the other great thing about that is when you have him like this, and he's actually, you, you look at him, you, you feel he's looking this way. Here? He's actually looking at you. You can do a move where he just yeah. lunges at you. The head turns and moves yeah. towards you yeah. like really quick out of nowhere. You know, and, and you can probably get the head to go all the way around like that. That's yeah. Because all the way back like that's even better. The farther back you can go, yeah. you know, the scarier it gets. You get the shots of these kids to make a sound, and you just get this thing turning around looking at you like that. You go, oh shit. <laughs> You know, there are other little characteristics that might be worth like playing with too, are notions of these if they're going to be in a pack of getting them to like point, you know, where if they're <coughs> on the ground and they want wah, jung, yeah. and they see the thing to get them to like even do like kind of a boing, you know, even to like do uh, something like dramatic with their uh, tails where uh, they jung, uh, see the, like a point, you know, see the prey. I always like the idea that, that when they see the prey, he stops and like a pointer and then he starts tapping out like a code. With the big toenail, and, and, and the other it's ones nice here, they, communicate, they yeah. communicate that way. You know, they communicate by little little squeaks yeah, and shouts, and, and also by like, I just think the tapping of the foot is so scary. You know, a couple of pretty important, you know, physical details that that should be incorporated into all of these things to really pull it over into reality is they're always breathing. Yeah, it's just constantly well, you're seeing the rhythm. That was, I tell you, I did on ET. That, e that was like something was so important to me was getting ET to always. Have chest movement. In his and out. vein in his head. And, yeah, that, well, oh, hi, Kat. Remember the yeah, yeah, yeah. Always getting his little pul vein. Pulsing. That was yeah. But I think it's even there's so much drama that you could get out of you know and, and pregnant pauses when they, they the stop and they're, and they're holding their breaths. And, you know they're getting ready to attack. Sure. And they, when you stop that, or when they, yeah. they get, just get done hitting somebody, they're <laughs> the other thing that I'm hyperventilating. Oh, I, I love I love the breathing idea. Also on ET, you know, we had we all the eyes were able to dilate. Is that possible to do that here? Yeah, we have to do that in close-up. Close-up, you know, I mean, close-up head. Yeah. Build a bigger one. Because that, that I think that's yeah. really good. It, it, it adjusts different light. You see the eye getting bigger yeah. or smaller. And it was really, we did that about four shots DT. It was really effective. The philosophy of this would be that we would make it scarier. We would never see a shot like this. You would only see a shot from inside the car from the kid's point of view, or you'd see a, a shot from Grant's car through the rain at the full-size Rex. Mm -hmm. And that would be the rules, because otherwise it becomes a guy's little movie where you're cutting to angles. It, to me, it's not scary unless you're with the people in the car looking out the windows. It's not a point of view. Now so you're when you're, this is scary to me when you're inside the car with the kids mm -hmm. and you're moving around with a little dolly inside the car and you're moving around this mm -hmm. sort of thing. That's great. He should try to. Well, I like the idea of him putting his, his whole body against the car and exactly. pushing, pushing the car on purpose. Yeah. yeah. And the car comes up against the fence, which is probably you know by that time right. just down like this. It comes up against it, and then the car starts going like this. Yeah. You know? it's great stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But the uh, yeah. electricity is totally out. Isn't it? Because I was going to say the great sparks are flying off the fence. But you know what's really going to be scary? I mean, everything we're talking about here is essential for credibility. What's going to be the scariest stuff is when you hear the breathing of this thing. This nose comes in the car window. And you see the breathing against the glass, displacing the rain, or you just see the tongue go into the window a little bit, or you just feel the breath. You know how feet it, 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 it smells, and you just get a sense that when this nose is in the car, it's like it's deafening. You know, you know, you know, you know, intake and ex ex expiration of air. It really be scary. 
Wow. Well, the part I like is where it eats the skylight, and the sky, the sky where the big plexi comes out, it actually protects the kids in a plastic bubble. But it, it, it frustrates the wreck. He's trying to get his mouth around the kids, but he's got the plastic bubble <coughs> in his way. It goes right to the top of the car. So it's the whole half roof would be a big plastic bubble. It right. could just go inside the car and, and encapsulate them, you know? The, what wouldn't be good is the Rex looks over his shoulder at a sound. It goes like this. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but what, but what, what, maybe, it can, it can be scary, actually, but, but I mean, what is good is he hears a sound, he hears a sound, he goes, he goes, Absolutely. That fast. That feels good. No, I like that kind of thing. I like to think of in, in the middle of a thing with a kid, he sees the kids in there, he says he stops and scratches his face. You know, like that. Some water gets in his nose, he shakes his head, he sneezes. You know, some of the, I had all the ET operators constantly with ET do stuff like that. For no reason. Things that had nothing to do with the story. It was just behavioral. And like you say, like the, the you know, breathing could be, I mean, just the constantly having these huge volumes of... You know, yeah. Now, how do you do that stand full size with I, the breathing? I have no idea.
Changes just like a flock of birds evading a predator. They're uh, they're flocking this way.